Welcome to another episode of Tippy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today, oh man, this mail day is just, oh, it's crazy. I have three artist proofs here sent to me by Anson Maddox. And um, after ordering my first artist proof a couple of months ago, a beautiful reconstruction with beautiful art by Anson on the back, I decided to order more because that's how it goes. I, you know, you know how addictive this is. And yeah, I mean, I'm so looking forward to opening these. Um, the cool thing is um, if you're thinking about getting artist proofs from an old school artist, I can really recommend uh, Anson Maddox because I mean, he's very friendly. His wife who does most of the communication is very friendly. Um, and also what I like, like I've actually like opened the initial, um, let's see, envelope here. Uh, what I like is like he adds little details like this, like thank you again. So he kind of knows, oh, this is somebody who's ordered again. And he takes his time to to thank me for this, which I really, really appreciate, Anson, that you're doing that. Because you have to imagine, uh, you know, they have they, they got to have lots of work, you know. So every little extra effort somebody puts in there, I really appreciate it. And also it has a nice... A leaflet that I got the last time that I ordered from him as well, uh, which I kind of like, like Artist Proofs 101 and FAQs. And then I saw this question that I just would like to read to you. Like, what are they? What's an artist proof? One of the rarest forms of MTG collectible cards, far more rare than even a Black Lotus from the Alpha set. Uh, they are identical to regular cards, except they are blank on the backside, right? So... Yeah, and here you see a piece of art that he could make for you. So you've got several choices. So I just opted for a sketch, um, which I, I think probably if you go for like a, a full colorful piece of art on the back, that's probably best, but also um, rather costly. But if you don't mind about the cost, then I would definitely recommend that option. But his sketches are also beautiful. So I'm fully confident that what I'm gonna see is gonna make me uh, super happy. So. In each of these, there is a card, and um, I'm actually organizing an Ice Age tournament in December, so I've decided to order some Ice Age artist proofs. Mainly, there's one other card in here. Uh, so two of them are Ice Age cards that I'm hoping to actually play in uh, in the deck that I'm gonna play in this uh, in this tournament. Um, let's have, a, you know, I'm just gonna start with this one, the top one. Um, I already kind of fiddled with it a little bit, opened it a little. Um, but yeah, let's have a look, because I didn't look inside yet. I wanted to do that here with you on camera. So it's gonna slowly pull it out. There we go. So, and we're gonna open it up. Oh, <laughs> oh look at this. Sorry, I'm a little bit blown away. Okay, okay, What? first things first, first things first. So we're gonna take this one out. There we go, we're gonna take this one out. So this is something he sends with all his artist proofs, which makes, of course, sense as a certificate of authenticity. So it gives you the number, it gives you the name of the card, Shield of the Ages. It gives you the time when the artist proof was created. It gives you the, um, here, the artwork dimensions, right? And it is signed by his business manager, which is his wife, I believe, and by Anson himself. So it's kind of proof that what you have is authentic. Now, um, Anson, I am <laughs> I am blown away by this. I'm just gonna try to carefully take out the artist proof because I just wanna really take my time to show this to all of you. I'm just blown away by this piece of art. Wow, okay, so, ooh, this is kind of scary. I don't wanna damage anything. Okay, so this is what's on the back. Oh man. So this is Shield of the Ages. I'm gonna show you the front in a moment. You, you probably don't even know the card. It's a card that doesn't see a lot of play. Not even when Ice Age came out, it wasn't regarded a good card. But um, I've got my reasons to go specifically for this card. Now, first reason is I love artifacts. And here we see Shield of the Ages. Here we see the beautiful art. So the art is worth the card alone, right? Uh, what the card does, not so special. You pay two to prevent one damage to you. Uh, but what I really like about this, and I like the art, but also I like the flavor text. So the flavor text reads, this shield is a true rarity, an artifact whose purpose is obvious. 
Arkham Dexon Soldavi Mechanist. Now the Soldavi Mechanist is a card that's also in the Ice Age uh, set. I've actually got a copy here, a little bit beat up, just out of my Ice Age box. I've got like a box full of Ice Age, just old stuff. But this is Soldavi Mechanist and what it does, uh, one blue and one for one one, you can tap it and it adds two colorless mana to your mana pool and this mana may only be used to pay the activation cost of an artifact. So the cool thing is you can use this to pay for the shield. So there's just, there's so much flavor, like this mechanist knows how to wield and how to use the shield. So I just think that's, that's really, really cool. And now we're just gonna take another look at this back. It's just absolutely epic. And in the flavor text, they say it's a rare artifact because um, it's obvious what it does. And you may think, okay, what do they mean? Well, if you, for example, read the no novel, The Brothers War, one of the main things that the novel is all about is Mishra and Urza trying to figure out what artifacts actually, what they do, what their purpose is. There are so many artifacts in actually all the magic lore stories where it's un, it's unknown. What the artifacts do is unknown and they go and discover what the pow power the artifact actually possesses. So just to have an artifact um, that has a clear purpose is rare on its own, you know? And I, I thought that was just very, very flavorful. So here we go. Wow. Oh man, I'm just gonna ooh, put it back in here. Okay, so this is the first one. First one, one, we've done one. You know what, we're gonna, this by the way is the Protocol Sorcerer at night, so the Sorcerer in a nightclub. But sorry, Sorcerer, we're gonna put the cards here. So I'm just gonna put the Sorcerer here. And here we've got our authenticity. And now we're gonna go for the second one, the second artist proof here. Let's go. Wow. It was really well packed, by the way, so thank you, Anson. I appreciate that. And uh, we're gonna open this up. My, 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 my. Oh. Crazy, crazy times. Okay, Anson Maddox. And here we go. Oh. <laughs> okay, try to guess. Try to guess what card this is. Try to guess. I think, I think this is the one that's not Ice Age. The only one that's not Ice Age. Uh, let me get it out of the top loader and um, very carefully out of the sleeve. Oh, the work he's done on this. Anson, the detail, man. And I think it's actually supposed to be turned upside down, right? Yeah, it is. Look, the Anson is here, Anson 2021. Beautiful, man. Oh. I'm just, I'm over the moon. I didn't expect so much detail in your in your uh, sketches, to be honest. I'm abs I, I so appreciate this, that you took so much time to make this. Look at the detail. Absolutely stunning. So this is a card from the Fallen Empires, and it's actually quite a good card. So I'm just going to flip it here and show you. So this is the Breeding Pit. And a Breeding Pit, man, it's actually a playable card. I think, okay, maybe people think, no, it's not, it is playable, you can do stuff, it's cool. And it's very authentic to me. Like you used to combine this with Lord of the Pit, Breeding Pit, Lord of the Pit. But of course, in the set, Fallen Empires itself, you've got the Ebon Praetor. Well, you know, those two work together really well. It's uh, one black and three to cast. And during your upkeep, you pay two black or you bird Breeding Pit. And at the end of your turn, you put a Thrall token into play, treat this token as an 0-1 black creature. And I, I've always loved that about this card because you put it into play and you get a Thrall token at the end step of the turn that you've put it into play. So you don't have to wait until your upkeep. It gives you an 0-1 Thrall token immediately. And that can actually be useful. Like if you're under pressure and you need a chump blocker, Great, man. If you've got a flying carpet, give your 0-1 flying. You can just block any creature and you can just survive. You know, it's it's quite a good card. Uh, obviously, this works really well with cards like, like I said, Lord of the Pit, Evan Prater, but also Fallen Angel. There are quite a lot of things. But obviously, I don't really care at this point because I got this because of this amazing art here at the back. Oh, and just to clarify, it was really nice. Like Anson asked me, uh, would you like to see something 
what do you think? And um, I said, no, man, you, you do what you do. You're the artist. Uh, you are a fantastic, talented artist. You do what you think is beautiful. And, and this is what he made. Wow, absolutely stunning. Anson, thank you so much. I'm blown away by the amount of work, the amount of detail that you've put into these artist proofs. It is incredibly, incredibly appreciated. So I'm gonna put it in here. Wow. I just, I, I'm just blown away, I'm just blown away. And again, of course, we've got this um, certificate of authenticity. Here we go. It's just, it's just absolutely stunning. It's madness. It's absolute madness. But I've got one more card to go. This is Ice Age again. It is blue. It is made by Anson Maddox. I'm just giving you some time to think about it. Of course, you can pause the video and think about it, but I'm just going to give you some time to think about it. Let me know in the comments below what you think it is. And in all that you've done, maybe you've seen it, but I tried. Let me know what you think it is before you see what it, what it actually is. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll put a link to Anson Medic's store in, in the description below. So you can find out for yourself. Like this, this man, great service, very friendly. And as you can see, I mean, his, his artist proofs speak for themselves, right? I don't have to give you a sales pitch here. So there we go. Uh, number three. Oh, here we go. You know what? I'm just going to... Start. So it is a snow covered island, right? Which is an artist proof snow covered island. I think that is really something special to own, you know. Now I can cast my Zern spellcaster using this snow covered island, but now, of course, we want to see the back. Oh, I'm a little, I'm a little shaky because the other ones are so incredible. I'm going to turn it around and there we go. Wow. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Ah, oh, man. It's kind of that, that style of Anson Maddox, right? That I don't know how to describe it, but you can recognize this style. I mean, ever since Alana were elves, you can recognize Anzomatic style. And I have to admit something. I made an artist top 10, which is the most ridiculous thing to do because art is so subjective. And I tried to look at the 25 founding artists of, of Magic the Gathering, right? The people that made the game. Each and every single one of those artists deserve to be on the number one spot in whatever top 10 you make that's related to art and magic. Um, and I didn't put Anson in there. I, I, I have to be honest. And now when I'm seeing more of his work and it's crazy, but like I said, a top 10 artist, old school artist, it's ridiculous. Like, I mean, I'm going to, there's probably a card popping up right now. You can, if you want, you can have a look and you can so disagree with all my choices because it's so subjective. Anyway, uh, let's just take one closer look. So we see here also those eerie faces. It's kind of like a horror movie, right? And we see some more heads under the snow and some medics. And this, of course, the heads that you also see at the front. It's kind of like this Easter Island horror movie, isn't it? Where you also see these huge heads. Yeah, I wonder what happened at that island. Anson, my man, I just want to thank you so, so, so much um, for all the work that you've put into these artist proofs. I, um, yeah, I just feel incredibly happy and fortunate, um, to own these, to add these to my collection. Absolutely amazing. This is actually my Christmas present. And, um, I think they're absolutely stunning. So maybe we can just have one nice close up of all three of them here. I would like to very much thank you, Ansonetics, and I would also like to thank you, the viewer, for watching another movie right here on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And uh, if you want to order some Anson Artist Proofs, I would just go for it. There's a link in the comments below, uh, sorry, in the description below. Um, and also, if you want to um, check out, maybe you want to join the Ice Age tournament that I have planned here in December. 
if you do, uh, you can actually uh, join the Patre uh, Patreon program and you can do that by uh, clicking on the link that's probably appearing right now. Click on the info card and uh, you can support the channel. You can help me grow and you can help me continue making uh, old school magic content this year and also in 2020. That sounds kind of nice. 2020, 20, 20. man, I can't believe it's that far, almost that far already. Um, so yeah, if you want to do that, have a look. Another way that you can help, of course, is uh, just by leaving a like. Leaving a like if you like the content, uh, write a comment, and you can also uh, subscribe, of course, to the channel as well. All those things really help. Um, and without further ado, let's go to the end scroll and let's take a look at the fantastic, the amazing patrons and channel members of Timmy Talks. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? Ik het als fikker te samba kazee.